It was in the mid-1980s, while vacationing in France, that I met Mr. Ohanes Chilingirian in his hometown, Caen sur mer on the shores of France's Côte d'Azur. My vacation to France turned to be a life-changing experience. It turned to be an intensive summer course in Armenian literature, focusing on the life of Armenian martyr poet Dr. Rupen Chilingirian Sebak. Mr. Ohanes Chilingirian is the nephew of Rupen Sebag and the director of the Maison de Rupen Sebag, a museum that housed the relics and remains of the martyred poet. It was Mr. Ohanes Chilingirian who single-handedly collected and treasured all the worldly remains of Rupen Sebag. His photographs, his report cards, the graduation from Berberian School, his photos with teachers and classmates, impressive pencil sketches, of Rupen Sevag, of Beethoven and Victor Hugo, Sevag's school notebook, photos of his first and only love, German-born Yanni Appel, and his two children, Levon and Shamira. All these remains, along with an impressive collection of artwork by well-known Armenian artists like Mardiros Sarian, Mahokian, Atamian, and Ivazovsky, and others, covering every inch of the museum wall space. Also included in the museum was an impressive collection of valuable works, books, and writings by Rupen Sevag and about Sevag. Maybe the most impressive were the handwritten letters of Sevag to his first and only love, his wife, German born Yanni Abel, written in French. Letters which yet to be studied, translated, and one day published. All this information at the Maison de Rupen Sevag left a strong impression on me, but what was more important were the many hours I spent with Mr. Chilingirian, discussing details about the life and death of the great poet Rupen Sevan. Since that day, February the 15th, 1885, and the birthday of Sevan, and August the 26th, 1915, the passing of Rupen Sevan, were clearly marked on my calendar and an annual phone call was made to Mr. Ones Chilingirian. I felt responsible. I felt I had to do something more to spread the word about what I discovered in France. I embarked on a mission of translating the works of Sevag into English and collect anything about Sevag, anything I could discover. The more I read, the more I translated, the more I was attached to this man of philosophy, to his farsightedness, to his humanity. In 2013, Ohanes Chilingirian made a major decision. The entire museum artifacts of the Maison de Rupen Sevag, the house of Rupen Sevag, were to be donated to Holy H. Meadzin, transferred to Armenia, to the homeland, and housed in a new Rupen Sevag museum in Holy H. Meadzin there could have been no better decision to return the relics of the poet to the land and the people he loved and belonged to. People speak highly of the courageous decision of Ohanes Chilingirian, giving him lots of credit, and rightfully so. They say that was the happiest day in his life and most important decision he had made. More importantly is the steadfastness of Ohanes Chilingirian, his faith, and commitment to every Armenian cause imaginable, and especially towards the cause of justice for the Armenian genocide recognition. This narration cannot be complete without mentioning the Herculean effort on the part of Ohanes Chilingirian, 90 plus years old Mr. Chilingirian, who manages a website where all the information related to the life and the works of Rupen Sevag are to be found. This website, dedicated to an Armenian martyred poet, is the most comprehensive one in the world. Interested parties are encouraged to check the website. It's www.rupensevag.com. It is truly a humbling and moving experience, a testament to the steadfast commitment by many dedicated Armenians to reconstruct the destruction that befell our people in 1915. Rupen Sevag 
who was martyred at the young age of 30, lives and will continue to live in the homeland Armenia, where he belongs. <laughs>